Hours of heavy rain swept torrents of ash and rocks down Mount Merapi, the most active volcano in Sumatra. The mudslides inundated two districts, swept people to their deaths and damaged more than 100 homes, mosques, and public facilities. Abdul Malik, head of the search and rescue agency in provincial capital Pandang, told reporters that the bodies retrieved included two children, a three-year-old and an eight-year-old. We are focused on first, searching and rescuing the victims, second, protecting the evacuees, protecting the vulnerable people, he said. West Sumatra Governor Mahieldi Ancharola told reporters that around 130 people had evacuated to an elementary school in Agam, while more than 2,000 people were evacuated to several places in Tana Datar. The cold lava flow, known in Indonesia as a lahar, came from Mount Merapi, one of Sumatra's most active volcanoes. Heavy rains inundated neighborhoods with muddy flood waters and swept vehicles into a nearby river, while volcanic ash and large rocks rumbled down Mount Merapi. The local government set up evacuation centers and emergency posts in several areas of Agam and Tana Datar. The area around Mount Merapi has seen several similar disasters in the past six months. Last December 5, 23 hikers were killed when the volcano erupted while in February this year, flash floods damaged dozens of homes in the Tana Datar. <laughs> laporkan kami lagi di Suli Aduh 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 Woi mobil kecil lanjut Oh dua duanya lanjut Oke sana itu penampakan dari Cipamuki pasca Galodo kejadian semalam jam 10 uh, penampakan jam hari ini jam 4 lewat 10 detik 10 menit uh, batu-batu besar Sampai ke jalan raya, kena ya. Ikulah kondisi marah, kondisi simpang bukit sana ya. Ah, kondisi simpang bukit kini sana. Setelah terjadi galodo jam 10 malam, semalam sana ya. Ah, batu besar-besar di tengah jalan sana ya. Tetapi, tidak layak. Mana kita? Putri mana?